Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win, or you find a way to lose. So, rumors are swirling that uh, during the week, week and a half, couple weeks that uh, Tyson Fury spent over there in Saudi Arabia with um, all the activities, um, Saudi Arabia trying to be established as a destination um, in all of the different events and bazaars that took place, uh, that Tyson Fury was treated as royalty. And uh, as part of royalty, he was also indulging in the cuisine, eating by um, the, leaders, the leaders in uh, the royal family in Saudi Arabia. Now, it's no secret, and I'm telling you this because I live there, um, and you can just go and look online and see, right? It's not uncommon uh, for camel to be eaten, right? There are camel farms. I know because I've been to one. I've seen them. And we used to be driving, going to different uh, historic sites. You'd see the camel farms out there. But where it is, Tyson Ferry uh, ate, you know, a camel gyro or ate too much camel, something like that. And again, suggesting that maybe he had food poisoning um, and hadn't fully recovered as he entered the ring against Francis Ngannou. Now, I don't know how true it is. I'm, you know me, I'll tell you, take it with a grain of salt um, or some tiki, some tiki sauce or whatever, you know, but I think people are taking it to the stupid on this one. Do I think... Tyson Fury ate a camel gyro out there. Hell yeah. Because he's crazy. And um, to be honest with you, I would eat uh, a piece of camel. As a matter of fact, I didn't eat camel out there. I ate a lot of mutton when I was there. But um, I had a piece of camel, um, you know, come my way. Oh yeah, I would indulge. Um, I was eating those uh, shawamas out there. That was supposed to be chicken. But who knows what the hell they had on that damn rotisserie, man? Could have been camel meat. Uh, I know I wasn't never I was never thirsty when I ate those uh, swarmers. They would put like two, three little French fries in there and wrap it up. Maybe I was camel meat because uh, you know I wasn't getting thirsty normally when I eat. I need to drink. But that being said, as far as Tyson Fury, I don't I don't know if my man ate you know too much camel or. If he was in a situation when it came to food where, you know, he was eating some things that probably should have said no to. But, again, when you're out there and, and, and you're, the, you're, you're the guest and you're being wine and dine and spoiled and you're sitting there eating with, you know, a king, a prince, and people who are part of that leadership of Saudi Arabia, you know, people who are hosting the event, you know. You, you do as they do. They put something in front of you to try, whether it's a date, whether it's, you know, some mango or drinking the, the kiwi milk, banana milk, apricot milk, all the different yogurt sauces. Put a piece of monkey in front of you, a piece of a camel gyro. You got to drink and eat that shit. You know what I'm saying? But more to come. We'll see if there's any truth to it. But um, that's a rumor that's swirling around. Not so sure I buy into it. I do believe he may have eaten camel as far as him having food poisoning. I think somebody needs to hold their camel and stop taking it to the stupid because ain't nobody holding no horses out there. That being said, y'all keep cool. More rumors will swirl. The funny ones I'll report, the ones that are just totally stupid and not even funny, I'm not going to report. But I'll share some bullshit with you. Y'all keep cool. I'm in the breeze.